What is up guys? Today, I just can't come up with anything to talk about. So I was gonna do nothing. Like, you know, sometimes you just have to accept and surrender to it, which is the feminine energy that I always talk about. And sometimes you just, you just sit and meditate and learn those video can be the most viral video on a platform. And guess what? For us to predict, nah, it wouldn't be the best video. It wouldn't be the, uh, the viral video. Like, why would it? Because I'm just chilling and doing nothing and just talking some bullshit. Like, like nothing. Sometime, you just have to open the fridge and just look at it and then close it. Do you relate? I do that all the time. I don't know what, what, what's, what's wrong with me, but I do this all the time. I'm like, hmm. It's almost like, I, it's almost like checking and nobody stole my fucking food. I live by myself. Sparkling water. I woke up. Yesterday was like such a strong wind. And then maybe because of that, the Wi-Fi disappeared for a bit and I was like, shit, I don't have Wi-Fi. So I went to a cafe in the morning to do a little bit of the work. But, cool. So we're gonna talk while I'm, I'll drink the lemon sparkling water. You gotta detox yourself. And I'm just gonna lick some salt to make sure that I'm sweet but salty. I'm not sure if I'm gonna even put music on this one, but. Cheers. Ooh. So. Yeah. Literally, I have nothing to talk about. And sometimes, that's okay. I feel like we are so caught up with this rule and then have to be perfect. Somehow we have, somehow we are living in this like someone else's expectation as if we have to match that, whatever the expectation is coming from, whether it's internal, whether it's some, some other thing or, it's, yeah, fuck that shit, man. Fuck that expectations, which I really appreciate all of the audience and all of the views and I just, you know, yesterday I made a video about it, I think. The understanding, the fact that me having an audience allows me to be a speaker because I could speak out loud, say things out loud, trying to inspire people in an empty room and nobody's listening. But because of you guys, yeah, this is such a nice attitude to, to say uh, that I appreciate. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could just speak in an empty room and then nobody's listening but because of the viewers because of the audience then my message is delivered and and the same goes to my community you know leave you like a movie i have the uh huge platform with coaching program and a couple hundred people are actually learning every single day and it's amazing that how they transform their life like i'm such a blessed to be a part of this whole community and the whole movement and i think the law of People are now awakened in a universal level in the worldwide. The collective consciousness is arising and uh, I think the, the planet, the universal vibration frequency is literally just rising up. But here's the thing, there's a light, there's a shadow. So fuck expectations, fuck other people's expectations, fuck, you know, whatever that you're trying to live up for. 
Because at the end of the day, if you're not fulfilled and if you're not happy with what you're doing, and if you are, on the other hand, if you are happy with what you do, I'm, I'm happy doing this. I'm happy to showing who I am and showing up who I, as a who I am in my reality and in, in the video. And that's, that's more, much more fulfilling. And then that, and then, you know, I can't just please everybody, right? Like I can't, if there is only a hundred people in the village, I cannot make hundred people like me, perhaps 70 people. And these few people can be 20 or can be 100 in a, you know, 10, 20 years. And then some people tell you like, you know what, I don't like your philosophy. I don't like the way you're living. I don't like their, your face. That's all right. That's okay. That doesn't define or that doesn't determine my self-value or self-worth. Because that's just called a preference. Some people like chocolate. Some people like vanilla. Some people are very kinky and it goes to pistachio. <laughs> Oh, I like pistachio too. And some, some, some people like, you know, um, some weird shit, like weird, sh weird ass taste. And nobody's like, what? Like, why would you go with that taste in the ice cream shop? Like I would go to lemon sherbet, wherever I go. Like I, I fucking like a lemon sherbet. I don't know, since I was a kid. So I think life is about like finding people who can enjoy eating ice cream together rather than just like somebody who likes chocolate as well. Like, oh, I like chocolate. Oh, you don't like chocolate? Fuck you. I think that's not, that's not the healthy way to establish a good relationship or fulfilling life. It's just you're finding people who enjoy going ice cream store with you, even if the ice cream sucks. Like that's, this is what I've learned quite recently, or the last couple of years at least. Like it doesn't matter, like, you know, like I go to a lot of places, right? I go to a lot of places, but it's really about not the place or whatever you do. It's really about who you're with. So that's why I think self-love is so important because if you don't love yourself and you don't enjoy your company, then what the, f wherever you go, you don't enjoy anything, right? So you have to enjoy your company. You have to at least find a way to, to entertain yourself and then be in alignment within yourself so that you feel good in, in, in any places you go. Because you could just like feel miserable in the most beautiful beach out there, right? But if you have that good environment, if you have the good friendship or any sort of relationship, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, then even if it's just the block away from your house, it's fun. That's what matters the most, right? You could have like just visually sensational, beautiful things around you, or you could go to the most beautiful place in the world and then not enjoying at all. I think that's the, that's the, that's the indication of how fulfilled you are as a person and how amazing your life is. It's not about like having things because that essentially it's trying to live up for the expectations, right? Because you could have fun and just block away from your house or in your house or in the toilet or in the shower, like pretty much anywhere. But if you can enjoy or feel content and feel happy despite where you are or despite the you know, despite the more, you are in the most boring place in the world. I think that's what we need. Everything is internal, you know. Seek nothing outside of yourself. As I said, I really appreciate all of you guys watching this. I really appreciate the audience and, you know, the, my work is complete when I have a community to, to lead and my, I have people to help and I have a people to deliver the message, a give and take and everything is completely you know, both sides, it's not one direction, it's completely both ways. But at the same time, understanding what is necessary, but I don't try to live up for anyone's expectation. Because if I'm an expert at something or if I do know the certain things that look, it just works, for example, like if you know this is fun, if you know this is good, if you know this is challenging, if you know this is fulfilling, or you know this is good for your health, this is, for example, going to the gym is a good thing. Like in any 
knowledge and any, anything that you are really good at doing. If you go to the gym all the time, then you know that how you can lift your weight or how you can use this machine, how you can build a certain level of mass or a physique. Then you know what is, what is good and what is not. And you can you know, share that with people. But sometimes people can say like, oh yeah, but you, know, you shouldn't go to the gym every day or like different opinions to you. Even though that you very you, you, took, you, you take pride in and you're so good at doing that, then just keep that. You know, fuck again, fuck people's expectation. Some people want to just tell you, you know, this and that, and they don't even do shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you are so dedicated to to be or do certain things, take the pride in and don't let people shake your foundation of the knowledge and experience and of who you are. It's okay to have a different opinion because essentially you're free to believe anything, right? You can, you can, you're free to believe in God. You feel, you're free to not believe in God. You're free to believe in any type of God out there. You're free to believe that you are not good enough. You're free to believe that you are a fucking fantastic individual. So, yeah, just fuck other people's expectation. I think that gives you more relaxation and less tension in your body, less tension in your mind. And when we are relaxed and when we are so focused without tensed up, that's when we get to perform the best. It's when you get to see so much clear clarity in your life and in the world. So if you're struggling, pleasing other people, trying to Leave out for other people's expectation or your own expectation and just drop it. Drop it. Drop it like a, what was the song? You know, it's crazy because the last couple of days I came across with this dragon and it's, I know it's weird. I didn't see the dragon, the real dragon. I would love to see it, but I came across with a video about this, uh, the, the, God of, uh, the God of Dragon, I guess, that who lives in Japan, I think. You know, I think Japan, we... Woo. You see? <laughs> the moment that I spoke about God, <laughs> that was a strong one. I think they came and then she just went away. No, but for real. Like, I'm not fucking joking. The other day, I came across with a video that Who's, who's, who's the, who can connect with that God of Dragon. And I was like, cool. Right, that's cool. And then, uh, what was that? Oh yeah, like, um, I do some like plant medicine and other things, but I don't really take drugs anymore. But I do these things called hape, right? It's basically, the ash of the tobacco. So it doesn't give you high anything. It's just, it's, it's a nicotine essentially. And you blow into your nose. So it doesn't give you high, it doesn't make you anything. It's just like, kind of like give you a punch and then give you clarity. It's good for meditation. It's good to just get clear, right? So I do that all, all the time. And then the other day I did it and then it was really powerful, happy and it's just like, bam. And then I, I just couldn't, Stand. So I just sat there and then I kind of like meditated for a bit, like for a couple of minutes. And then the vision of the dragon just came in. And just, I was like, oh. And then I felt like I was connected with that vision. And then I felt like there was some wisdom that came from it. I mean, clearly, if it's a materialistic thing that has had a bo bottom, there is a, is a limitation. But if it's thing, but when it comes to the things that you cannot see, there is no limitation. There is no, it's just how far you want to go in the rabbit holes. You know, it's just your choice. But the deeper you go, the more responsibility. The deeper you go, obviously, the darker you get. So the healing also the same. You know, if, if you put your, put your left feet or your right feet into a healing journey, then you get to, you know, experience a little bit. But if you really want to fucking dip yourself in to the healing, then it's, it, it, yeah, it gets darker. It gets darker, but then you also have to be able to hold on to it you have to be accepted and willing to welcome whatever that comes to you so 
yeah, the beauty comes in a, in a different form and beauty comes in a different way. But I believe that most of the beauty comes in the way that we cannot perceive with this shit. But we need to close our eyes and you see it from here or here. That's when the healing happens, it's when the life happens. And my plants are happy because the wind is, is creating the energy flow. You know, the winter, they don't want to really open your windows all the time. It gets chilly. All right. Cool. All right. My battery is going to be dead soon. So why don't we just call it a day? Just kind of like vlogging video without going anywhere. I don't know we can, if we can call it a vlog, but hope you liked the video. No one editing, I'm just gonna put it out there and I hope you enjoyed. All right, peace. Live your life like a movie.